Hi everyone, today we're checking out a comedy clip by Al Murray. So I don't know him, what about you? No, I don't, I don't know. So we already reacted to Jeff Dunham and uh, George, Carlin. George Carlin. And we want to do, know more about the comedian. Yeah. And uh, we picked a video called Name a Country We Have Defeated Them. So I don't know what I don't know what <laughs> So we're gonna Man. check it out, I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> we have defeated every single fucking country in the world at war. Name a country, Gary. Germany, 1945, thank you very much. <laughs> very recent job done, twice in one century. If only they tried again around 99, we got the fucking hat trick. <laughs> Another country, please. Argentina. Argentina, okay. 82, no help for no one else. And that, of course, was a war not for oil, but for penguins. Because we all know penguins are an essential ingredient in making Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, by the way, I read about him. He's a British comedian, so he, he's not talking about uh, the USA, right? No, he talked so about the United UK. Kingdom. But actually, the UK, when they went to the World War, yeah, yeah they have defeated Germany. Yeah, he, he told no lie. Until so, now. yeah, that's the title. Name a country. Okay, okay. 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 So it. the UK got involved in every yeah. war. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> because we all know. Penguins are an essential ingredient in making Guinness. Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> you boil them up, the white stuff floats to the top, job done. Another oh country, Chris. Oh my Chris. God, bro. No. Another one, France, thank you. We're in 1815, Waterloo, we haven't heard from them since. Yeah, another one, please. Canada. Canada, yeah, Canada used to be part of the British Empire, which means they're an ally of ours, as you know, being an ally of ours, counts as losing to us. <laughs> Why else are the Canadians so miserable? It, okay. it counts. <laughs> Yeah, it was part because uh, they were part of Canada. So yeah, he made them like yeah, they lost to us anyway. <laughs> we're gonna count them. <laughs> Counts is losing to us. <laughs> Why else are the Canadians so miserable? Another one, please. <laughs> hey, Spain, fifteen eighty eight, Battle of the Armada. Thank you, sir. We haven't heard from them since. Bro. Another one. It's Uganda. Uh, that was an African colony, of course, that at one point used to belong to the Germans. And in 1919, the League of Nations, as you know, when the Treaty of Versailles, when the world was redivided, the African colonies were partitioned and uh, separated between France and, uh, and Great Britain. And we got Uganda as a result simply of uh, it being I have to the Germans. That. We got given Uganda, which sounds like fucking winning yeah. there, without even having to go there. Result. Another one, please. <laughs> Another one. Another one. <laughs> need to go to more pub quizzes, love. Are you low key waiting for Lebanon or not? <laughs> I am. They're not gonna mention it. Yeah, but. Well, Maybe the Middle East? I'm hoping for. I'll ask Another you. one, please. <laughs> hey, United States! Alright, oh, okay. You know, I think in War of Independence, America finds itself free of Great Britain. Yeah, they see that as a win, we see that as a lucky fucking escape. <laughs> But let's not forget, in the War of 1812 to 1814, the Royal Navy sailed up the Potomac River, set fire to the White House, and the Americans had to whitewash it to cover up the fire damage, which is why it's called the White House. The Americans sued for peace at the end of 1814, even though they won a battle at the end of the war. They, the war's already over, the stupid fuckers were still fighting, even though they'd already lost. And that is America, and they've been working for us ever since. Bro, Hello, please. Yeah, unbelievable. Belgium! Man. Belgium! Belgium, of course, is a creation of the uh, series of treaties that came out at the end of the Napoleonic Wars, in, uh, the fallout of Waterloo 1815. It was the Duchy, of, the Duchy of Burgundy, of course, and the Netherlands states were divided up, divided up into two buffer zones in order to prevent any one single power taking control of the Netherlands, which is, of course, our dangerous flank between Germany and France, and we don't like European hegemony of one power, and that's why Belgium and Holland were cut up to two in a buffer zone created. And I think if you create a country out of thin fucking air, you've won. <laughs> Another one, please. <laughs> He's a history book. How many info does it's he have? Unbelievable. <laughs> if you create a country out of thin air, then. <laughs> oh <What>? my god. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's very knowledgeable. Italy? Yeah, 1943. Bot folded early, didn't they? Another one, please. <laughs> but, but, hey? China! Opium War, 1860. Another one, please. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> In 19... We can't keep up. China! China! Opium War, 1860. Another one, the please. Opium War, yeah. 1960. Ah, hey. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso used to be a German colony. I referred to my previous answer. Another one, please. <laughs> hey? <laughs> Norway, they used to be the Vikings, love. We saw them off in the end, didn't we? <laughs> and look at that, that's a come down. Once they were Vikings, fair, now fair they're enough. Norwegians. That's a fucking collapse, isn't it? <laughs> fair, fair, fair enough. From horny helmets to... Horny helmets. Another one, please. <laughs> Japan, we've got the Yanks to do it for us. Another one. <laughs> Peru. What language do they speak in Peru, sir? Spanish. Portuguese. No, they don't, actually. They speak Spanish. 
Yeah, which There's means in 1512, when Pope Julius XII divided the New World into two lines, two sections down the line of longitude 129, the stuff of the east of that went to Portugal, which is why they speak Portuguese in Brazil, the stuff of the west of that went to Spain, which means Peru was technically part of Spain when we defeated Spain in 1588, Battle of the Armada, so we done Peru without having a visit. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> Man, Can't argue with it. Oh, why did it? Oh, wow, okay, okay. Oof. Whoa. Yeah, he went for, he went for the whole Europe. And wow. for a part of the of Latin America, uh, and and America like Canada and the and the US. Name a country we have defeated them. So it's talking about the United Kingdom. They, uh, they don't have an Independence Day, right? Like they well, are they are a kingdom. The only country. No, they are a kingdom. How? But how they don't they have didn't... Independence Day. Yeah, they haven't got their independence from any any other country because they because rule they the world. Never colonized. You know? <laughs> yeah, they rule the world. Yeah. And I want to ask him about the Middle East. Like, okay. Yeah, well, that, that would have been tough. That would have been tougher than. Yeah, like no one mentioned to... those countries, the, this region. Yeah. You know, what really, after, because they partitioned this region. They have. Um, yeah. Via the. After, after the. Sykes Picot Agreement. Yeah, so, you're right. Yeah. yeah. After the World War II, yeah, yeah they have uh, formed new, Divide, uh, new yeah, borders and things. new everything. Yeah, so, and that created the new Middle East. And, uh, and yeah, they have. They have to tell us why they did that <laughs> and why they did it the way they did it, you know. Man, because as I keep you said, they were like, colonizers, you know, at one yeah, time. Yeah, but the, the way they like, history. did they just like grab the map and it should be like this, yeah. I like it that way, you know, like why, what, how, what did they base their logic <laughs> on, you know, like, I'd love to, yeah, hear that, but I find him very funny. He, he knows how to control the crowd and everything, yeah, yeah it's funny. And uh, like you already mentioned, it's like a history book, you know, like yeah. an encyclopedia. Wow. Wow. It's yeah, so I can't believe it. Um, I don't know uh, what other, you know, comedy clips he does, but this one felt like um, historical, like he, he, he added his funny twist on historical events, you know? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> like we, we have... United Kingdom everyone. was undefeated. Yeah, like, the way he never. made the joke, you know, from the beginning to begin with. Like, yeah, we have defeated yeah. everyone. Name them, we have defeated them. Even if it's proxy, you know, or by by another country, you know? Yeah, yeah he made it uh, sound funny. And I love the fact that he's so easy going, like he was holding this beer and, you know, just cracking jokes and, you know... Yeah, like he was a friend. Like he was a friend. I like his attitude. I want to watch more about him, you know? Yeah. Just to see what other topics he tackles. Maybe we can watch the whole the whole uh, comedy. Ah, there's one whole. That's a bit from uh -huh. a long one. Yeah, I think he, can, he can't be making a four minute. Or maybe thing. we can watch them separately. Yeah, or, sure, of course. Um, Man, do you have anything to add? Like, wow, no, I find him lighthearted. Oh, I'm here for more. Yeah, I'd love to to know a bit more about yeah. Al Murray. Yeah. Well, now I know a new comedian and I found him. Yes, yeah, so we uh, would be so appreciative if you can just drop some recommendations about him or yeah. other uh, comedians too, we can do that. Now, <laughs> we're gonna have to wrap it up. For any recommendation, make sure to drop down a comment below and don't forget to like the video. And of course, our journey with Al Murray has just begun and will definitely continue, so stay tuned for more.